far off in space from the distant planet of Triglyceride 7, they came to Earth. As the Space Cats prepare to receive their latest mission. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. My favorite time of the day. Lunch time. Oh, oh, and my favorite flavor sandwich. Fish head and kibble on wheat. Oh, 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 heads up, everyone. Message from our leader coming in. Lunch is over. Oh, what took you so long, Captain? Long, sir? I was kept waiting for five seconds. Gee, was it that long? You were having lunch, weren't you? Oh, oh well, I can honestly say, sir, I wasn't eating lunch. You weren't eating lunch? Then tell me, why do you have a napkin around your furry, fat, feline neck? Um, well, sir, I, uh, I have a drooling problem, see? Oh, you are pathetic. Yes, 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 I am. I am pathetic. I'm a pathetic drooler. Drool runs in my family. You find this funny, Captain? Well, sir, I just made a joke about drool running. Get it? No. And kindly refer to me by my official title, Dork. The disembodied, omnipotent ruler of cats. I am Dork. You certainly are, sir. You are a Dork. Make no mistake about it. Well, don't have me remind you again. Now, with your permission, shall we get down to business? Yes, please. What? A viewing screen. The thing you are about to undertake is international in scope. Wow! What exactly does that mean? It means it's happening all over the world! I knew that. Some of the world's most famous monuments are missing. For instance, in London, England, the famous clock, Big Ben, has mysteriously disappeared. In Italy, the celebrated Leaning Tower of Pisa is also baffling. Hold on to your flea collar. Oh, hold on. There's more. San Francisco. This is the most unusual series of thefts the world has ever witnessed. And it's pretty strange, too. I want you to take care of this, Captain. The world's landmarks are in jeopardy. And I wouldn't hesitate to say that this is a landmark case. If you have one more pun, I'll personally see to it that you get transferred to the frozen salt mines of Lipsoid. Um, no more puns, sir. Fine. Now get on this mission and remember, if any of your Space Cat agents are caught or impounded. Well, that's the way it goes. By Imperial Darkness, the Space Cats never fail. See to it that they don't. Besides being a dork, the guy's got no sense of humor. Eliminated the candidates he felt weren't qualified and selected a fighter Space Cats catnip can buy. Tom, the leader, sets a mature, reasonable example for his new colleagues to follow. Joining Tom in the never-ending fight for a better tomorrow are Space Cat Agent Scratch and Sniff. These two are inseparable. Because a Gaga seamstress sewed their uniforms together while patching some moth holes. Scratch does not know the meaning of the word fear due to the fact that someone tore out all the words beginning with F in his dictionary. And you can spell fear with a PH. The ever-cultured and refined Sniff is renowned for his sophistication, style, and elegance. Yes, they're brave, they're dedicated, and they work cheap. They're the... The Mount Rushmore theft was bad enough. But the theft of Grant's tomb, built with a grant for Grant, makes the case much more serious, I grant you. Tom and his team watch secret film of the thefts. 
Wow. First Mount Rushmore, now Grant's tomb. <laughs> this is really getting serious, guys. That's for sure. Even the Empire State Building's disappeared. But there was still more. Get a load of this picture. Oops. <laughs> Wrong slide. An empty piece of property the size of four North Dakotas was bought by the notorious Deplete brothers. I suspect foul play. And still yet, word came of another monumental disappearance. But you promised that my picture at Washington's monument. But it's gone, Tiffany Heather, honey. It's not Daddy's fault. Was not the work of just your average petty thief. Amazing! A million tons of granite gone. What monument will be stolen next? What monument indeed? How about the Statue of Liberty? Look! Here's where her feet were. Yep, there's a four-ton cast-iron corn plaster. Look for some kind of lead. Hey, here's something. A gold tea. The thefts were not confined to one country. In Paris, the Eiffel Tower was gone. See? It's here in the postcard, but it's not out there. Look! A golf tee. Reports came in from all over the world. Great pyramid, too. Look. Another golf tee. Boy, lucky I spotted it. And on the side here, it says, Deplete Brothers Mini Golf. I bet that four-state piece of property the Deplete Brothers bought has something to do with this. I'll bet it does. I d don't believe it. The great monuments of the world. It's a super gigantic miniature golf course. Incredible. Let's pay the Deplete Brothers a visit. The Space Cat's journey to the headquarters of the treacherous Deplete Brothers. Hmm. How are we going to get into the Deplete Brothers suite? I don't know. Good thing I brought the disguises. Yes, the disguises would help them get into the Deplete Brothers' inner sanctum, but would make it tough for them to get into the men's room. Hey! And where do you think you're going? Uh, cleaning the penthouse, sir. You know better than that. Start at the lobby and work up. While the space cats cleaned, Pete and Cleet planned their next move. Like it, Pete? The Great Wall of China. They stole it for us last night. Adorable, Cleet. Blast the hunk out of it. Make it a 17th hole. Perfect. <laughs> Do you have to do that now? Don't mind us. Just go ahead with your villainous, uh, marvelous dreams. Yeah, we know one is Spanish English. Dazzling, isn't it, Pete? Together, these beauties drew most of the tourists of the world. And well again, Cleet. But only now they belong to Pete. And Cleet. The, the brothers, brothers deplete. deplete. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What about the 18th hole, Cleet? I was thinking maybe Taj Mahal. Ah, uh, too small, Pete. 
but I've got an idea that will dwarf all our other acquisitions. <laughs> will the space cats hear about the greatest theft in history? Will they hear exactly which monument is next? And will they hear the Deplete Brothers' hideous laugh? <laughs> you bet. Stay tuned. The space cats will return right after these <laughs> messages. Say, we're back. <laughs> Welcome back! The Space Cats were about to learn which historic monuments the Deplete Brothers were about to steal next. I'll tell you what we're going to acquire. Yellow. Fleet Deplete. Fleet Deplete was interrupted by a call from his attorney. Yeah, go ahead with my divorce so I can remarry on Thursday. Then I'll divorce her the following Monday. Tell him I want a divorce too, Cleet. That two divorces are three for you this month, Pete. Five, Cleet. Can't be, Pete. We've only been married four times this month. I beg to differ, Cleet. It was two times this month. Then it must have been me, Pete. Me. <laughs> and while the Deplete brothers continued their long, boring conversation, sometime after midnight, they got off the phone. So, Cleet, you are about to tell me what monument would be on the 18th hole. It's big, Pete. Big, big. Tell you how I came up with the idea. Remember when we were kids and we ran all those other paper boys out of business? Do I, Cleet? Some of them had to quit school, wreck their whole lives. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? The Depletes had their very first heart-to-heart -heart brotherly talk in over 11 years. <laughs> and remember how we cheated the scouts out of all that money the troop had put up for camp? <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sakes, Pete, it's 10 a.m. Well, here it is, Pete, the biggest heist of all, the Capitol building. Brilliant, Cleet. Let's do it. The Capitol? Oh, my gosh! Yes, the Space Cat had the information they wanted, but the Deplete brothers had them. Okay, you caught us. How about telling us how you do it? Why not? You're goners. See that building down there? Ace all-night monumental movers. We own it. Started small. Iron deer on rich people's lawns. Moved up to Civil War statues with pigeons on their heads. Now, their greatest triumph, the U.S. Capitol. Not if we have anything to do with it. I'm sliding, I'm sliding, you slipping, I'm sliding, I'm slipping, oh, oh, I'm slipping. Mm, oh, mm, dark, mm, bucket on my head, I got a bucket on my head, yeah, I got a bucket, I got a million bucket, dark. Come on, guys, there's work to be done. Out of my way, we're on a mission. We're not. You're not going anywhere. Shall we have them destroyed, Cleet? No, Pete. I've got a better plan. We'll let two of the Space Cats steal the Capitol building for us. Oh, yeah? And what's the third one of us going to be doing? This answer your question? This device is voice activated. It'll only turn off when a news person says, and the Capitol building has disappeared. Turn off what? This. Tapioca pudding, death by tapioca. Unless your partners find a way to swipe the capital. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Is this the end for Tom? We'll be back with a thrilling finish that will make the rest of your lives seem like a bore. Will the Space Cats return after these messages? You bet. Stay tuned. Space Cat! The Capitol building in all its splendor. The two Space Cats must swipe it, or Tom turns to tapioca. Literally. How are we going to move the Capitol building? Uh, maybe we could grease the bottom and slide it. But we'd have to lift it to grease the bottom. Okay, so grease is out. Could you boys use a hand? 
And being the kind, decent space cats they were, they humored the dear old woman. <laughs> Gee, thanks, lady. Guess we're just not beefy enough today. Ooh, I better cut down on the vitamins. Meanwhile, Brave Tom was losing his battle with the insidious tapioca pudding machine. Tell you what, we'll turn it off for a lunch break. Hungry? But for lunch, all we have is tapioca. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, it seems Tom's doomed. What do we tell his mother? He died in the name of pudding? Hey, look! And there it was! The idea that just might save Tom. Almost looks like the building isn't there, right? By appealing to their patriotism, the sign painters were only too happy to help. It could fool me. Fool? I'll say. Yes, the painters made the capital appear to disappear. And at that very minute, a news team was passing by. All he has to say is, the Capitol building has disappeared. And Tom set free. This is Dan Jennings Brokaw with the biggest news story of this century. Apparently, the Capitol building is missing. No, not missing. Disappeared. Again, the Capitol building has apparently gone bye-bye. You uh, uh, idiot! Has disappeared! Apparently, just poof. Gone. The Capitol building has vanished. Tom didn't have more than one second left before he would become an exhibit in the Dessert Hall of Fame. Recapping our top story, the Capitol building has disappeared. Congrats, Cat. Your friends seem to have done the trick. Care to join us at our 18th hole for a housewarming and Senate warming? <laughs> There was the 18th hole, all right, but there was no Capitol building. And if you thought there would be, you haven't been following the story. What's keeping them? Where's the Capitol? Here's your Capitol deplete, brothers. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Capitol tried to rest. Hey, hold it. Tell him to hold it, Pete. You heard, Cleet. You can't arrest us. Hold it. Hold it. Hey, hold it. I'm dragging. Hey, what are you dragging me? Look at this. And with that, the world's monumental treasures were returned to their rightful places with the help of the Space Cats. Who have once again made the world a better place to live and visit. And now for today's Space Cats Words of Wisdom. Go ahead, go ahead. What? Tell them the words of wisdom. The what? I think he still has tapioca in his ears. What? Never put pudding in your ears. It'll affect your hearing. What? Until next time, wear that. What? Let's get him out of here. The extremely thrilling adventures of the Space Cats will return after these messages.